Hey guys, come on and drive with me. <laughs> had some, just brought my son to work and he had some music blasting. And this is just not like the music I listen, listened to back in the day. You know, it's changed so much. But then again, I remember when my parents, when I was younger and my parents listened to music, I was like, what is this? So, um, see, so yeah, the live stream, I went back and I was trying to figure out what the problem was in the beginning because it sounds like 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 someone's bebopping like so it's definitely just when I when I go into StreamYard and I don't share the right the right window per se I guess because after I cleared that all up it, it ended up being fine which I'm very thankful for um so I just wanted to know if people noticed that remember she had the the TS TSLO or TLSO that turtle shell well usually the turtle shell is only prescribed because of a, a broken back a fracture like when my friend who was a nurse broke her back she had to wear something like that only for six to eight weeks I believe it was um, and she had fallen in her shower actually or coming out and she had broke her back in two places and there was no surgery the way it was broken so but she had to wear that so when she said and there's a few different videos where she says fracture to my back kind of makes sense because if you do look at the vertebrae which she is claiming to be cancer that could be number one it's shrunken some and it looks like the new bone that's on the outside is where it could have bro broken. Um, but just the teal, the, that turtle shell is for when you break or injure your back. Now, I keep saying, and I keep going back to the H cabinet that she could have injured herself. Or also, remember, she had fallen out of bed with that other mattress that wasn't supportive. I guess it was made of foam or something and she just rolled out of bed. So she could have broken her back that way as well. Why the whole story, you know, that she has all these lesions and too many to count and that the oncologist isn't even gonna count anymore. Where are her tumor markers? Where are all these tests that would be being done? These are the questions. These are my thoughts and opinions, and I just share them what goes through my head. Like, please stop with the cancer. Um, a doctor does not stop counting. A doctor doesn't let you tell them when you're going to do treatment and when you're not going to do treatment. Now, I also showed um, when people have kidney cancer that does metastasize to the bone, the spine, on the spine, it's like the maximum amount normally of survival rate is 11%, or 11, excuse me, I'm sorry, sorry, 11 months, that their survival rate is 11 months. Well, let's not forget, 11 months ago, she entered hospice. Now, she has been claiming the cancer for what almost two years now I know the injury I know she was confined to her bed around this time two years ago I, I'd have to go back and look because I am not good with the dates and remembering certain dates unless they're my grandchildren's birthdays or my my son's birthdays you know actually my sister's is coming up to be quite honest um so yeah and then um it seemed like when she started talking about cancer quite a bit, Lisa kind of cut her off, like, okay, that's enough. And then on the live, they were talking about how Lisa lost like 70 pounds, which is fantastic. You know what I mean? That is great. She did that. And Jerry Ann was saying that, well, remember they had you stop physical therapy, you know, doing the pool? And Lisa was like, no. And she goes, well, now I can't do it because of the incision. True story. No, you cannot. You could not go in a tub and do, or bathtub or, um, 
you know, soak like in a pool or anything. Um, but now Lisa's going to be joining this gym. Oh, so anyways, in and uh jerry says well no you told me you said it and she's like no i didn't have to stop and I, and she said some she still could do the resistant pool and then jerry had said it was in the middle of the pool but she meant it differently i don't know it was kind of like she was putting her friend on the spot like maybe wanting lisa to follow her narrative um jerry ann would benefit hugely from um, like the YMCA now with Medicaid and with health issues they will normally I think it's called silver I don't know if they do it with that's I think Medicare but Medicaid they also will do a program where they will pay the fees for the patient whomever to go to you know to like the YMCA to use an indoor pool. That would be so good for Jerry Ann because there is, there, you're like weightless, you know what I mean? So all the weight would be off her bones. She'd be able just to really strengthen the muscles, which that's what needs to be done is she needs her muscles strengthened. And it will take, it will take a good while, you know, and if she had said that, like we went over the physical therapy now with the physical therapy guys I've done physical therapy um, I have to say they have never given me a ball or told me to use a ball they have told me to use they give me like their bands and you'll put the bands like over your leg and you'll stretch you know what I mean and you use your your arms to support things so I don't know what the ball I mean I've known of yoga balls and such. Um, sometimes with, <coughs> excuse me, a bad back, I would like bounce on, on a ball, like, you know what I mean? But I myself, through 13 surgeries, have never done anything with a ball. It was an exercise bike. Um, it was some like leg machines that they had at the physical therapist. It was a treadmill. It was them stretching me out. Um, they put me in traction one time, but I can't be in traction. Uh, that gives me terrible migraines because I did break my neck when I was 12. Um, so, and then they do the TENS unit. They apply heat, they apply ice, you know what I mean, cold. So, she said she graduated from physical therapy at one point. <clears throat> she said they, Usually it's one physical therapist that comes to your home. I actually just had a friend that had a knee replacement surgery, Lucy, who was at my house this past Friday. Um, and if it wasn't for her coming over, I wouldn't have woke up. Uh, she had knee replacement surgery and she didn't have to use a ball or anything like that. Uh, she had to work out with bands. And she got physical therapy at home. And it was one physical therapist that came to the home. So, I mean, just certain things. She's been talking about physical therapy for now. How long? She's going to look into it. She's been approved for it. She, they won't take her insurance. Blah, blah, blah. Come on. Quit with the excuses. They didn't prescribe you the wheelchair. Or Medicaid would have paid for that. They didn't prescribe you, as you've admitted, the scooter. Your mother-in-law lent you the money for that scooter in which you, in your chat, when people are asking you, why didn't you give your mother-in-law the 130? Why didn't you, you know, pay her back? And you said you didn't owe anything. So in other words, you either aren't paying her back or are you trying to say you already paid her all that money back? It doesn't make sense. Because if it was the case where you paid her back, you would have definitely said, I've already paid my mother-in-law back. But no, you didn't state that at all. You just said, I don't owe anybody money. Also, I believe that she got you, lent you the money for the dog, the electrical dog fence. How's that working out for you? And you're giving your puppy an awful lot of baths. 
I think it's already on the third or fourth bath, but I could have sworn that you said something about fleas. And listen, you need to make sure you go to a vet and you need to get drops for your pet, your dog, puppy, so they don't get fleas. Because just going outside, going to the bathroom, of course. Then you got two cats who I don't know if they're indoor, outdoor cats, but if they are indoor, like my cats are indoor cats, the dog is going to bring in fleas and the cat will get them too. And you'll really get an infestation of fleas. So it's something to really, really keep an eye on. Dogs, puppies are a lot of work. And you had said you got that puppy and dog so you would walk more. It would give you more reasons to walk. Yeah, that dog needs to be walked outside on a leash. And that dog needs to walk on cement and concrete. Not applying some type of lotion to the pads. Their pads should be rough. Just, I just hope you don't infect the dog's pads. You know, because if you make them where they're so soft and that dog goes on concrete and it starts splitting that puppy's pads up and getting infected, it's not, it's not good. It's not cheap either. So, but I just sh thought I'd share that little journey. I'm not far from home. And it is so quiet when I go in the house. Which it always, don't get me wrong, because the girls were always, you know, sleeping. But, you know, there's no TVs or whatever. So, I think I'm just going to go home. And actually, I uh, went to Aldi's today. I did get that uh, bed tray that they had. Actually, it was the last one. And it's only $9.99. It's made out of bamboo. It feels nice and sturdy. And I'm going to think I'm going to get that diamond art back out. That way, I've got it set right up on my bed like so it's higher up. So, I think I'll start working on that again. And because that's very relaxing and, and I am one person I enjoy relaxing I, I enjoy some quiet time um, last last couple I'd say two three months has been very stressful which that's not good for anyone's health you know that's why like our immune systems can go down and such so but you guys know me I do keep coming back so until later, guys, you take care. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.